Sebastian Del Martinez, MMA Nuts here in Stockholm for UFC on Fox 14, where Mirsad Bektic faces Paul Redmond on the undercard. So, Mirsad, uh, you were originally slated to fight a different opponent two weeks ago. That changed, or something like two, yeah, a little, over two. little over two weeks ago. That changed, and now Paul Redmond jumps in. How do you feel about this change in opponents? Uh, I don't think I don't really think there's a change. I mean, big change. I mean, it's just a new guy in front of me, and that's just the way I look at it. Uh, I think they're pretty similar, and I mean, I train, I train everything, so I'll prepare it for anything. So I just look forward to getting in there and uh, fighting for my team and representing my team and a lot of other people as well. Uh, so you think that both Paul Rim and Alan Omer that their styles are similar enough? They don't have to change a whole lot. I mean, they're not like I mean, everybody's different, but as far as uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, to me, I mean, I wasn't planning, I wasn't planning to do anything crazy with Alan Omer, you know. So it hasn't been a big change to me. I look forward to, like I said, just going in there, do my best performance, and getting that W. Now your uh, your UFC debut uh, was a while ago. You've been slated to fight the uh, since then, but stuff's coming your way. April, right? Yeah. Uh, it was a tough three-round fight, uh, but some people say that you can learn a lot more from those types of grinding, tough fights. Is that something you agree on? Yeah, I agree. I mean, I learned uh, I learned a lot in that fight. You know, I had a new boxing coach I was working with. So I was doing things a little differently, more than I what I'm used to, and uh, like you said, I went I, I won the first round I thought fairly easily. Uh, second round I <laughs> I got knee in the face twice, and uh, I learned a lot. You know I matured as a fighter. You know like things happen in your life, so you can mature. That matured me as a fighter. I got a lot of cage experience against a very very tough undefeated guy with a great camp as well, and uh, I still got the W. You know I could have I had my I had an easy way out and I didn't take it. You know, I fought for my victory and I got it. Uh, since that fight, you've been booked for other fights, but uh, be it injuries or other circumstances, it, 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 you know, the fight hasn't come to, to fruition. Considering that now you get to fight at the second biggest MMA show in history, do you think that's kind of a blessing in disguise? Oh, for sure. I mean, like I said, I mean, that's one of the things that happened, you know, when I, I was supposed to fight uh, another guy and then Max Holloway stepped up. And I had some injuries come up, and uh, but I learned from that as well. You know, it matured me in it differently. Uh, my approach to training changed. Uh, my mentality towards a lot of things changed. So, and now God's blessed me with a great opportunity to fight at a 30,000 seat arena with a great main event, great co-main event. Uh, a lot of Europeans, uh, a lot of Bosnians, and I just I mean it's just exciting to think about, man. Even you look out that window, and it's just. Uh, all those people that are gonna be cheering you on and rooting against you is just gonna be a, it's gonna be awesome, you know. I just I, I look to thrive in that, you know. That's I, I love that, you know. That's where I thrive, and it's I've been fighting for two decades. It's nothing new to me, so I look forward to it. Well, yeah. Speaking of fans, just how many Bosnians do you think are gonna be sitting there screaming, "I did, brate, I did"? <laughs> I don't think they'll be. I think they'll be screaming things a lot worse than that, <laughs> from what I'm used to in the past in the states. And they're they're crazy over there for me. So I'm excited to see uh, what they bring here. And uh, like I said, European fans are the almost the best fans you can ask for. Swedish, I mean, Bosnian, Ireland, all, all kinds of fans. They're the best, you know. And uh, they're just exciting, you know, and I think they they support their guys, you know, they support their 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 the representative of the country, and they cheer them on all the way. So it's just gonna be exciting to represent my country in the UFC, and uh, and I'm you know I believe I'm part American too because I you know lived a lot of my life over there as well. So uh, you know represent America, represent my team, represent my family, represent myself, and uh, that's exactly what I plan to do, and I'm going to do. Well, like you said, European fans, very passionate, uh, and I think a lot of people think of that's because of a sort of kind of a World Cup feeling, you know, a lot of these, so many small countries used to competing against each other. Uh, do you think that gives kind of a different feeling competing in Europe as opposed to the United States? I mean, I think mentality-wise it gives you a different feeling, I guess. Uh, mentality-wise, I think a lot of stuff is a head game, so I think uh, you just feel different fighting, at least I do, I feel different fighting here. I feel better, you know, because... Yeah, I'm, it's my people, you know. Even Swedish guys, I feel like it's my people. They're Europeans, so you know, it's just uh, it's just awesome. And yeah, it's just, it's just exciting because you know how passionate they are. You know, they're gonna be drinking, they're gonna be going crazy. Most likely, there's gonna be fights. Uh, they're just how they are. So it's gonna it's gonna be awesome, you know. Whether it's against me, rooting for me, or rooting, you know, it's just awesome, you know. The Europe, Europe is where it's at. Yeah.
Well, obviously, the UFC is proving that, having the having Guts book this big show yeah, here. 30,000 people, you know, it's almost sold out, so get your tickets right away. You're not going to want to miss what I put on and what Gustafson does. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just... He's a great fighter. I mean, he wins against Anthony Johnson. He's fighting for a title. So, I mean, that's, uh, and their first fight was crazy. Again, it's the largest, I mean, one of the largest in soccer stadium now. And everybody's talking about booking fights in soccer stadiums, you know, Connor and so many other guys. So, this is, the, this is the first, and I'm privileged to be on it. Yeah, well, obviously, those fans who haven't bought their tickets already definitely should do so. And getting back to you a little bit, you're fighting against Redmond. Do you think that you have any clear advantage? I mean, like, I know you said that you didn't have to change up your plan so much, but if you just look your style versus his, do you think you're stronger anywhere in particular? I think, I, think, I mean, I don't, I think I'm just better than a lot of guys. You know, I feel like, I mean, my, 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 my world, I'm the best there is. And I look to prove it against him. I look to prove it against anybody in the future. And, but right now it's just him and me. And uh, I look to prove that I'm better than him, you know, and I have to prove that because that's what it's all about, and that's exactly what I plan to do. Well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing it. This is Bastion Martinez here with Mirsad Bektish. Mirsad, voila. <laughs>